Hi, and welcome to another edition of the To Be Honey Hive Hotel. Um, we're in July now, so we're getting ready for our first harvest. We're not going to be harvesting this week. We're going to be pulling some uh, honey frames next week. But what I want to do is I want to show you what the honey frames look like in the Hive Hotel and what the honey frames look like in the Langstroth Hive. So we'll see just how the honey's building up and we're all getting ready for that first harvest of early summer. Okay, so we'll get things started in just a minute. Okay, now we're getting ready. This week we're going to look over here where the Russian bees are and you can see all the development they have on the bottom. Okay, so what we have down here, you see all this? That right there, we're going to see what kind of like honey frames Hold on. I think these over here are honey frames, and I think these are the brood frames on this side, okay? And we just keep sliding these over. Keep sliding them over. Now here's a honey frame. So what we're going to look at, we want to look and see how the honey's developing, because remember, next week we're getting honey. Let's see if we're going to have enough. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at all that honey. That's some good honey. This frame will probably leave for the, for the summer to help them out because it'll be a good divider going from the brood nest over to the honey. The queen won't pass something if it's full of honey. So if the queen's moving over and she gets to this frame, She'll just turn around and start going back. So these can be full of honey and those can be full of brood. Okay, let me put this one back in. There we go. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what the honey frames look like. See what the honey frames look like? How they're coming in, filling with honey. And do you see, look at this bee right here. Do you see how her whole head is in there? Believe it or not, right now she's pushing all the honey in. And she's pushing it in with her head and with her mouth. She's pushing the rest of the honey into there, into the frame. Okay, we have a couple left. Let's see this one. Oh, wow. There's a good honey frame too. All right. There's some honey in that. The weight of this one and the honey on this one. Very nice. Heavy. Oh, I can see the glistening honey. Yes. Let me see if I can angle that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Looks heavy. It's very heavy. But we're okay with it. Let's see if we can move some of the frames over. And now I just want to show you like this one is they're pulling the honey in. And one thing I did for the honey frame is I kind of cut the bottom off so we have that size to have them keep working on the honey there. And all these bees they're all depositing honey right now. Let me let me get a picture of them. With their, See? With their rears sticking out. They're all depositing <laughs> honey. They're working hard today. Yep, and there's one. See that one right there? Yeah. She's about to get ready to deposit some honey. She's looking for a place to put it. <laughs> They're all looking see. for a place to put the honey. See, that one just jumped in there to start depositing honey. Okay? Oh, they're working hard. So we have lots of honey frames going on. I'll take one more out to show you. One more out to show you how the honey is really going on this. Okay? Now from the So the first one was the Russian bees. And now the Russian and these are the northern hybrids. Northern hybrids. Oh. Okay. Right. These had a two week head start. Okay. So now let's see what we have here. They look really busy. 
Yes, they are. See, just getting a little bit out right now for them to see. Now, what we're going to do, we'll get this over here. Here's one where I moved. Can you see the honey production going on there? And now I'll show you on this side. With all the honey coming in and the... See, getting the honey ready. Now what will happen... But by next week, we'll have some of these ready for harvest. And we'll have some from the Langstroth ready. But here, they're still working on building the comb. And I'll show you when we get to the Langstroth, how here, they're still building the comb coming down. On the Langstroth hive, they already have the comb built in there. So the early summer harvest, they have a head start. But we'll still see how things are really working. Because the... They're doing very well building the comb for both the brood and for the honey. Okay, now we're going to get... That's a lot of smoke. All right, now we're going to look at the bottom for the original to see how we're doing or how the bees are doing with the honey production here. Put it down so that we can make things a little easier for us. There we go. All right, now we'll see if we have some honey ready here. This is all the brood over here and the honey over here. So we have the two things separated. Let's see. Oh, let's see what that looks like, huh? See how we're bringing the honey out? And we've got the honey coming in. That's looking really good. And we're just putting this down here. We'll put it back on top. That's just, and there's one of our legs just over there checking me out. See, this is where you know they're not going to sting you. Okay, she's just looking for her own stuff there. There, she can fly away. All right, now. Now we're going to go to the next frame coming over. This one's very heavy. If you can see how thick. Oh, it looks so thick. It's bubbling. Oh, my goodness. It's like bubbling. Look at it on both wow. sides, how thick and, oh, wow. lovely. Right, I'm going to put this one back because it's so heavy. Just checking this last one to see if there's a little snack for us. Look at the size of this one, huh? My hand's shaking just trying to grab it there. Oh, look at that. Look at all that honey. Okay, I'm going to take a piece right from, how about, where should we take a piece from? Wherever it's less disruptive to the bees. Okay. Right up here, then. Okay. Don't get okay. stung. <laughs> yeah, right. Sometimes people don't like to share their lunch. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. See it dripping down? Oh, my gosh. Can you see it dripping? You break the cap or seal, and there it is. Oh, look at it all dripping. Oh, I forgot to open it up. All right. Open gonna... what up? <laughs> my open. mail. Let me put this back oh, well, now. We'll, we'll eat it after. We'll eat it after. Okay. Hold on. Gonna eat some? Bon appetit. Mmm. That's first fresh honey. I'm dripping on my fingers. Want me to save this for you? Yes. 
I'll get you another piece. Okay, get, <laughs> get me another piece. All right. Everybody's a witness. He took all the honey. Mm. Now you can swallow the wax if you want to. Nah. I'm going to leave the wax. Now all that honey, if you look down here. Oh, look at it. It dripped all the way all down. All this honey that dripped. The bees will go back and pick that up themselves. Uh, you can see the little drops okay. that came right out. Yes. So good. All right. Now let me. You owe me a piece. Put this back up. You can get a piece from the Langstroth hive. Okay. Uh, that was yummy. Okay, now everything's closed up. And we're going to leave the bees to uh, finish capping whatever honey is left for them to cap. And we'll get back to the hive hotel uh, next week. Now let's look at the Langstroth hives and see how they're doing with their honey production. So let's start with this one right here. And we'll see. Very slowly we'll pull it up. Okay. And you see with these, ow. Oh, I, I got stung a little bit right here on my hand, if you can see it I right there. I can see it, yeah. All right, because when I grabbed it, I pinched one of the bees and she stung me. She didn't sting me because she was mad at me looking at her honey. She <laughs> stung me because I was crushing her and she was saying, hey, don't crush me. Okay. <laughs> so we've got this one. Let me put that in. All right, and after getting stung, I puffed my hand with the smoke because believe it or not, the bees will let off a thing there that'll say, hey man, danger, danger, danger. Pheromone with a different of some pheromone, sort? yes. So by, by me doing that, hopefully the bees don't know that there's danger from my hand. We'll see. If they start coming at me again, I'll oh. just put the gloves on. Okay. Okay? just want to be able to show you one good frame of honey. Ready? Let's see. See how they're all over here? That's how they end up. Come on. Get out of my way. Uh, look at this. All right. Look at that frame of honey. That's what we wanted to show you. Okay? That's how good they're doing. And if you look in, can you look in right there and see the next frame? See how good that one's doing too? So we have frames full of honey here. So next week, the early summer harvest will be ready. And we'll show you how we start pulling frames up for that and getting things ready. We're going to put all the pieces back on. To let them keep going. And that's in a way to let you know when it when people say to me as a beekeeper do you ever get stung we do get stung and they say hey what does it feel like and you say it feels like a bee sting because <laughs> you can see that's it right there yeah and it's starting to get a little yeah. swollen usually it swell usually up. it'll last for about two hours then it gets itchy okay now let's get to the bee fact of the week you know what? Since I got stung, let me talk about why do bees sting? That'd be a good bee fact of the week. A bee doesn't sting because it's angry. A bee doesn't sting because it doesn't like you. A bee stings only to protect the hive. It's like a little machine and that's its job. It's either protecting the hive or it's protecting itself. Mainly, the reason why beekeepers don't have to wear gloves is you can move all around a beehive and not get stung unless you do something silly like I did, picking up a frame and squeeze, squishing a bee, and then she stings me. That happens. If you go in front of the hive, there's guard bees. Guard bees are the ones that guard the hive from intruders and from other bees other insects, anything that comes in the hive or near the hive, it's the job of the guard bees to protect it. So if you're in front of, that's why I do most of this from behind. Back here, the guard bees are all out in front. I'm back here 
um, I'm set, a guard bee could see me and fly back here, but that um, usually doesn't happen. If you're out and there's flowers and there's bees on the flowers, the bees do not want to sting you. They're working. They don't want to sting you. They want to get the pollen and nectar and go back to the hive. If you accidentally squeeze one, squish one, or step on one, that's how you get stung uh, um, when you see them out in public. Other than that, bees do not sting out of anger. Bees do not sting out of uh, uh, meanness. They don't hunt you down. Bees only sting if they feel they are um, protecting the hive or if they feel they're getting squished. Or threatened. Or somewhere. threatened with bees in the hive after they sting you. A big reason why they don't want to sting you, do you know what happens to a bee after it stings you? It dies. It can only sting you one time and then it dies. So they don't want to sting you because they don't want to die. They want to protect the hive. They want to fill the hive with honey and nectar and they want to protect the queen and everybody wants to have a good day. <laughs> so now Ugh. So now we're all going to celebrate the bees, we're going to celebrate summer, and we're going to celebrate honey. Next week, the bees are going to give me half of their honey. You only take half. The bees are going to give me half of their honey. I'm going to leave half with them, and everybody's going to have a great summer. I'll see you next week, and remember, bees are your friend unless you try to squish them and then you get stung. <laughs> Bye now.